Welcome everyone. Um, I looked on YouTube and I couldn't find any videos that I liked as much for organizational purposes. I mean, every one of them was fine, but this one hopefully is a bit more organized. At least I can show you the individual parts that you need to do. Today we're going to talk about how to find the area of a segment. Uh, specifically, I'm breaking this into three parts so the videos won't be ridiculously long. Plus, you may not need to watch all three of them and that way you don't sit there and do three for no reason. Our first problem we're going to find the area of the segment for this circle. It has a radius of 12 and we'll just make a U here. U means units. It doesn't really make much difference as far as this is concerned, but it is sort of important that we have some standardized way to identify the measure. It could be inches, maybe it's feet, but for our case we're just going to use U as a total generic symbol for unit. The idea of finding the area of segment is first to identify what are the parts that uh, are in the circle that we can use to find what the segment is. The first part itself is the segment. I mean, if we don't know what we're looking for, it's pretty hard to find. So a segment of a circle is, if you can see, there's a chord here. The chord is a line inside a circle that does not uh, travel through the center. So this is the segment itself. It's this piece here that's on the outside of the chord between the chord and the outside of the circle here. So we'll get back to a better definition of this segment in a second, but I wanted to make that clear. Obviously the first major thing uh, in, that in this problem is the fact that we have a circle. So here's our circle. If we're trying to find the area of something, we have to find the area of the whole item because if we don't know um, how to find sort of a, this shape, so we've got this sort of rounded shape, it's like the top of an ice cream cone, um, we have to find the area of the whole circle first. In order to do that, I have to use the formula uh, for area of a circle, which is of course pi r squared. Uh, hopefully some of you are singing the little kids, the area of a circle is pi r squared song in your head right now, and if you're not, you're doing it now because I just sang it. So we're going to eventually use this formula to determine the area of the whole circle. But let's talk about the parts first before we go on to that. So we have our circle as part of it. Uh, another key issue that we need to uh, deal with is the idea of a central angle. A central angle in this case, or I can just use this one again, is the angle here that's created inside the circle that uses the uh, center of the circle as its vertex. So if I have an angle inside a circle and it goes or it starts and ends essentially at the uh, center point, then that is a central angle. From the central angle, we move on to what's called a sector. Or I'll over pronounce it as sector to try to separate it from segment. So the sector is this piece. It's the whole section, I defined it as the slice of a circle. So if you have your whole pizza, a sector is just one slice. In this case, it's actually just breaking it into four parts, but it's not really necessary for you to know that. I just, you know, I was thinking about it at the time, so there it is. Um, that's a sector of a circle. Now there's a couple other components that are involved. We're going to separate out our sector into two parts. So there it's broken down into halves. I've put the cord right there in the middle. So if I pull this apart, oh look, I have a triangle and then I have my segment. So if I can find the area of the entire sector, this, and I find the area of a triangle, maybe I could just pull out that triangle and whatever is left is the segment. So pulling something away is subtraction. So what I'm going to do is find the area of the sector, then find the area of the triangle, pull it away, what's left, that's the area of my segment. And that's what the question is asking me to do. So the very first thing that I have to do, of course, is find my area of circle. So singing with the kids, I'm going to do area of circle equals pi r squared. That's looking fine. So as you can see, our radius from here to here is 12 units. So I'm going to set the problem up. 
just like this because it makes the most sense to go that direction. I like to use the parentheses, especially when I'm plugging things into the old calculator here, just because of the fact that it makes my life much easier. And the um, calculator knows that it's multiply, so it can do some wonderful things for me. So I am going to plug in pi. So here's the calculator here. I'm going to plug in pi. Oops. Pi parentheses 12 closure parentheses just like this and then to the second power or if you want to hit the squared button right there that's okay too and I'm going to hit enter and I know that the area of my circle is 452.389 so I'm going to round to the tenths place right here the three I look at the place behind it the eight the eight says that the three goes up to a four so my area <clears throat> that I'm going to use in my circle area of circle equals 452.4 units squared so 4.52 Point four and so 452 and 4 tenths units squared. This is a U. It's tough to see. It's hard to write with markers, but I found that on this camera the pen doesn't work. Now we said specifically before we started that in order to find the area of the whole se of the segment, not the whole circle, of the segment, that I was going to find the area of the sector, this part, and I was going to find the area of the triangle and pull it out. So what I'm going to do now is set that type of problem up. So if I'm going to do area of the segment, what I'm going to do is take the area of the sector which is the slice of circle. And from there, I'm going to subtract. And I'm writing it straight up and down just because of paper. I don't really expect you to do with it. The area of the triangle created by the chord and the central angle. Sorry for the use of the uh, color pencil. I ran out of colors for my uh, markers. I guess I need to get another set. So I'll work on that. You know, we get paid pretty soon, so we'll see what happens. Once I subtract those two things, that will give me the area of the segment because I'm just pulling this piece away 